Hello, Kara from Karen Co. Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business system, basically everything you need to run your business online. So today I have a little workaround for MailChimp users. Um, it's MailChimp's a good place to start. They do have a free plan for many people um, when they're first starting to do email marketing. The downside is the free plan recently, I don't know how recently, I just noticed this has changed. They've started adding this ugly badge to their signup form. So if you're going to embed your form on a WordPress website, you have this big, ugly, made with MailChimp or grow your business with MailChimp badge. So I'm going to show you a workaround you can use if you have a WordPress site to add the form to your site without doing that. So I'll take you over my shoulder. So just so you can see, if you go to the form builder, this is how you would do it in my previous videos to embed a form. Um, And so you see this has this made with MailChimp here. It's not that ugly, but it's not great. And there's no way to get rid of it if you have a free account. The way that you can do that is to use a plugin. I'm gonna not use that window. And the plugin is this Yikes Easy Forms. So we would go to your WordPress website, come to plugins, if you don't already have it, which I'm assuming you don't, you're going to go to add new. And you can even just type in MailChimp to get to this. That's how I found this plugin. And it's this Yikes Easy Forms for MailChimp. And so you would go and hit install if you don't already have it and then activate the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you're going to come down here. It'll show up. If it doesn't show up, refresh your browser tab. When it comes down here, you first have to come to settings and you're going to need to enter your MailChimp API key. So your MailChimp API key is down here in your account settings. So you're gonna come down to this. Account and billing is one way to get it. Your profile is another way. And then you're going to come to extras and API keys. Once you land on that tab, you're going to be able to create an API key. You might not have one here. Um, if you're just starting out. A lot of this will be blurred out if you're viewing this on YouTube because I don't want to share information. But you create a key and then copy and paste it into your tab here. Once you do that, you need to create an opt-in form. So you come up to this part here and you would create the form. So you would name the form and hit create. I'm gonna do a demo. And you need to add these tabs. You don't have to do much, but just select email, add it at the form, first name, add it to the form. Um, if you need to do another, actually, I actually don't know how to do that yet, so sorry, but this is all you got. So you would then hit update the form, update the form, it would be created. Now you have the short code. So this is the short code you would need for the page. So you can copy that. If you go to your website, this part will look different depending on your theme and your theme builder. I'm using WP Bakery. Um, but for this one, if you go to edit the page, if you come down here, I already have it in, it looks kind of funky. Um, when it's the builder is open, it might not look funky in yours. Um, for me, I go to edit a new thing here and it does show up as an option. Where are you now? Yikes. Easy forms for MailChimp. So it does show up here. I can select this and then it will add it. You just choose which form you want to use. It'll add it in. If you don't have it showing up in your builder as an option, because of that short code, you can just do a text block and do this. You'll also hit the form. And actually, that doesn't look so weird for me on this one. So that's how you would add it. When I added this form originally, it just had the white text. Oops, well now I have two, so I'll have to fix that. It just had this white submit, and since I have it on a white background, it wasn't showing very well, so I had to add in the button background color. There's an easy code you can do that in your CSS panel. That code is here. You would just change the code for your color background. I will put that in the notes below so you can easily grab that. Um, but yeah, just to recap, if you're using the free MailChimp version with WordPress, you're going to have that made with MailChimp that isn't so attractive. So you can download this plugin 
First, you need to set up your API key and you grab that from your MailChimp settings. You click on your profile, your name at the bottom and go to account and billing or profile to get to that. Once that's done, you have to create the form and then you need to add the short code to your page. So this is a super quick run through, but it's a really kind of an easy workaround to get it in a nice inline form without that word or that MailChimp badge. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video and you can always subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future updates. All right, thanks so much.